Guys, it is official. Supreme has announced the Kenora virus or COVID-19 relief box logo. And it is a collaboration with Takashi Murakami. I know it doesn't sound real. I honestly did not believe it this morning when I woke up dazed and confused. I looked at Supreme Leaks news bars. I thought he was playing a prank on me, especially after his April Fool's prank. And then I went to the official Supreme Instagram. Then I witnessed with my own corneas the official Instagram with the verified badge saying the Supreme Murakami collaboration was real. My own corneas, my own eyeballs my own retinas did not believe what they saw oh my gosh the little colorful flower and this box logo that was really artwork stolen by Barbara Kruger are collaborating and coming together to fuse this masterpiece that I think everyone whether you collect art streetwear or your OG or a hype beast will love the demand for this piece is going to be absolutely insane that being said because it is a relief box logo that will probably produce a really high number but it's still gonna be very hard to cop thankfully they're releasing it on Friday because there's a lot of stuff I want to go for this Thursday we are gonna talk about this Thursday's drop list as well. And if you guys want to see a live cop this Thursday, of course, the return of the manual cop king. You guys witnessed with your own corneas last week me cop two woven straw mats manually. No one's with my live cop manual abilities. So if you guys would like to see me return to my throne this Thursday, smash the like button. If this video gets 1,500 likes, yes, it's 1,500 likes. I will do a live cop this Thursday. There's definitely a lot of money to be made this week from Supreme. And you guys know I do not like doing the live cops, but you guys have been killing it with the support. The last four or five videos have all gotten over 2,000 likes. In fact, most of them have over 2,500 likes. And every single video, I see more and more comments saying notification gang first, second, third, people commenting fifth when they're really like 20th, which is crazy to me. So thank you to everyone that likes the videos, comments, subscribes, and turns on post notifications. And I have a gift for you guys this week something that I'm really excited you guys. I don't know man I'm I'm nervous, but I'm also really excited before we get into it, I do want to say the box logo If I did not already mention this is dropping on Friday not Thursday for those of you guys that have short attention spans like me You guys may not have read the description is dropping April 24th Which is on Friday, which I really appreciate because there are a lot of items this Thursday I want to cop and I would have been pretty upset if it was dropping on Thursday It would have made my cop order really difficult and it would have made it a lot harder to cop the things that I want this week Which we'll go over this week in a moment But before we get into it, like I said, I have a gift for you guys something that I'm really excited to announce which is a free discord cook group now this cook group is not just a free chat where I talk to you guys this actually has some tools that you guys can use if you guys are trying to get into reselling it has restock monitors for supreme Nike Adidas Shopify literally every single site you could possibly imagine and basically what restock monitors are are it's self-explanatory it's monitors that monitor restocks on these websites now prior to the service all I had was my Instagram the star life T-H-E S-T-A-R-I-L-I-F-E where I do go live before the supreme drop so I can talk to you guys in fact last week a lot of you guys said that you originally were not going to go for the woven straw mats until you guys saw my live before the supreme drop and then you guys went for it and took w's which is super dope and if you guys do not follow my instagram of course change your life go follow me on there that's the star life t-h-e-s-t-a-r-r-l-i if it's on the screen in the description down below right underneath the link to the new discord group that i started honestly i made this discord because i wanted to offer tools to individuals that basically want to make money the same way that i've made money for the last five years as you guys know i make money from reselling supreme shoes other hyped clothing and i wanted to be able to offer these tools to everyone which is why i wanted to make it completely free now obviously hopefully you guys support your boy because this does cost monthly. In fact, it costs about $750 to $1,000 a month, so I don't know how long I can keep it free. I'm hoping to keep it free forever, but that's literally what I pay for rent. So uh, yeah, it's a pretty serious expense. That is why a lot of these cook groups actually charge for this service. However, that being said, it would not be possible for me to offer the service for free if it wasn't for my friends at Lace Network. Now, Lace Network is not a sponsor of the channel or anything like that. They are simply the individuals I collaborated with to make this free Discord group, which is why it is called the Lace Network Lite. Basically, what Lace Network is is a cook group that I'm actually a part of. Of. In fact, the reason why I was able to cop these court purples a couple weeks ago. Basically, that cook group has every single tool that you could possibly imagine as a reseller. It has early links. You can get slots ran for you. They have a bunch of other different tools that are all discussed in the About Lace Premium section on the free Discord. But the most important service that the Premium offers that you guys can sign up for if you guys would like to increase your chances this month is a free Supreme iOS bot, which means that you can have the iOS bot running while you try to manually cop as well. You can just increase your chances of trying to acquire this beautiful box logo or any of the items that are dropping this Thursday. Now, that being said, if you guys do not have $30 a month, I do have a discount code, which is STAR, S-T-A-R-R. -R. It's literally just my last name, which you guys can use to sign up for the premium service. And if you guys don't have any money to invest into reselling, then at least hopefully you guys can start with this free Discord group, which is completely free to enter. Like I said, the top link of this description, and it will still have restock monitors. It won't have all the other tools that the premium group has, but at least hopefully it can get you started and hopefully make you guys some money from home. I don't know if I can keep it free forever, so definitely take advantage of this. Sign up using the top link in the description. That being said, this right here is the discord group and this right here is the video let me darken it a little bit and uh yeah man let's get to the rest of the drop list because there are still a lot of things to discuss okay so this is week 
Number nine. It is headlined by the Supreme My Bloody Valentine collaboration. Nothing is more romantic than My Bloody Valentine, except for maybe a bukkake, or just in general, any individual releasing their spermicides on their significant other's face. I think that is the epitome of pure romance. Now this week is absolutely fire. Supreme is killing it back to back fire weeks. I don't know if it's the Kenora virus or the Cameron Diaz virus, whatever the thing is called that's running rampant through the streets right now. All I know is Supreme is doing a very good job. Now this collaboration definitely does not cater to the hype beast. It doesn't have any over the top branding, but that being said, I think lovers of the brand will appreciate these pieces and as well, lovers of My Bloody Valentine. I do think these pieces uh, do a fairly good job. Like I think these pieces will cater to... Bro, my diamonds are dancing right now. The bracelet on my wrist is like shining and it's kind of distracting me. Anyways, like I was saying before ADHD interrupted me, uh, I do think this week is sick. Now this collaboration uses artwork from the group My Bloody Valentine, which is a group that originated in Dublin, Ireland in 1983. It uses several pieces of art from their covers. The artwork used is from Feed Me With Your Kiss, Glider, and Loveless. When you look at the rayons, which are some of my favorite pieces, I guess some commenters think that all the stuff I like is ugly. <laughs> and all the stuff I uh, don't like is the fire. Maybe I'm tweaking, maybe a lot of you guys are gonna hate these rounds, but personally, I love these rounds. I don't really like the Feed Me With Your Kiss graphic just because I feel like it resembles somewhat like what I would imagine it would look like if I woke up to Michael Jackson peeking through my window trying to sneak his way in to rub his penile all over my flesh. But I really do like the other two rounds. I think the Loveless graphic is super sick and I believe the other graphic is actually from a compilation album. Please correct me if I'm wrong, it does look very similar similar, but it also looks a little bit different. You guys are catching that? Ooh, am I shining that in your face right now? <laughs> But anyways, um, this Feed Me With Your Kiss graphic is also used on this denim trucker jacket. Now, sometimes these jackets sell for decent amounts. I don't really know how this one in particular will do. I'm not the biggest fan of it. It definitely has this really dark grunge vibe, but I don't really care about having this like omniscient looking dome piece attached to my entire body, especially with his mouth right near my cock region. Not the biggest fan of this jacket. Personally, I wish they would have actually used the Loveless graphic for the denim trucker jacket or trucker jacket or whatever kind of jacket this is in particular, whatever fabric this is made of. Now, although I'm not a thousand percent sure as to whether I am going to cop the rayons, I'm definitely gonna cop all the tees as per usual. The tees should be between $44 and $48. They have the Feed Me With Your Kiss tee and the Glider tee. Once again, the Feed Me With Your Kiss tee says My Bloody Valentine. Above it, it uses the artwork from Feed Me With Your Kiss. And it's really not hard to tell where this artwork comes from because literally on the back of it, it says Feed Me With Your Kiss. And then in between your shoulder blades, ever so effortlessly is placed the Supreme Box logo. Now, if you are a hype beast and you are upset at the fact that the box logo is on the back and there's no box logo, on the front, then this is probably not the piece for you unless you are like the exorcist and you can turn your head all the way around and effortlessly speak to civilians that are passing by. Fuck this. They also have the glider tee. Now this has the artwork from the EP glider. And you may be thinking that, oh, this may not be as easy to express where it comes from to informative snobs that feel the need to flex on you and act like they're so smart because they know everything about My Bloody Valentine. They've been listening to My Bloody Valentine since they were pushed out of their mother's vaginal canal. And they want you to know that they are smarter than you. So they will tell you all the information about My Bloody Valentine that you really don't give a fuck about. Don't fret, don't worry. You can still flex on these bitches because it does have the track listing on the lower back print of this graphic. It's basically the exact same location where your mother's tribal tramp stamp is tattooed. I believe it has a box logo as well. And then last but not least, we have the hoodie. I do not believe I'm gonna go for the hoodie, but once again, the hoodie references the Loveless graphic. It says Loveless on the back. Really not hard to tell where it's from because each and every single piece, except for the rayons and the trucker jacket, do have the reference of where the artwork comes from. And like I said, when it comes to resale, the only items I plan on acquiring are the tees and maybe potentially the rayon, but honestly, these pieces will not see immediate resale right after the drop, or at least I don't think so. But an item we will definitely see have resale right after the drop is this MLB jacket. Now I would still hold on to this piece. I would not sell it right away because I think it will be worth more in the future. And in terms of colorway, I really have no idea what color to go for. I know what color I want. I want the orange one. I think the orange one is sick. It has this like really sick 90s vibe, but I will say when I did my season review, a lot of people were hating on the orange one. I definitely don't care about the navy one. I really only 
only like the black and the orange one. I like the black one because it is more wearable. It's literally more subtle. It has all the patches blacked out. However, that being said, I do like the orange one. I don't know. It's like the best of both worlds. You have the loud one. You have the quiet one. It does have the ARC logo sewn into the back, which I am a fan of. I love the ARC logo. I don't know why. I, I tend to like all the logos that everyone hates on. I love the ARC logo. I like the old English logo. I don't know why all of my contemporaries, my partners seem to hate on those logos, but I think they are fucking sick. Now, they are dropping a hat as well. This hat does have the Supreme Box logo and it has all the MLB graphics sewn in as well. Uh, this hat, I like it. I even like the fact that it's a fitted. I will say I got a big head, so I'm not too worried about my size selling out first. I wear a seven and five eight, so I think the only other person going for the seven and five eights is my boy, Jimmy Neutron. And that's because we both have comparable dome sizes. Being that this hat has all this patchwork sewn in, it might offset the balance to my dome piece. And I'm already barely lifting this head up because I swear every morning I lift this head up. Like I need to help it with my hand to get it balanced underneath my neck. My neck is literally fused together with steel and titanium to lift this gigantic cranium. Wow, that kind of rhymed. Up from my Tempur-Pedic pillow and balancing throughout the day. I would definitely recommend going for the jacket. I don't know what the resale on the hat's gonna be, but it's still a pretty safe bet to go for that as well, especially since they incorporated the box logos onto the front of these fitteds. These are classic fitted hats. A lot of the OG Supreme wearers love when Supreme does these box logo fitteds. Not to mention, they did use the OG Mariners patch. Being from the Pacific Northwest, I do appreciate this. And I gotta say, this jacket is absolutely fire. I'm so excited to get my hands on. I already know I'm gonna get one. You guys saw me last Thursday. I'm the manual cop king. Nobody's f***ing with my manual copying abilities. It is just not happening. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys... Dude... Vin Diesel, why are you racing outside of my apartment? I swear, every time, you guys see it, almost every time, I do not cut this out because I want you guys to understand what I deal with every time I record. I don't even know what I was saying. What was I saying? Yo, Chucky, you remember what I was saying? You were telling them what a little bitch you are. Oh yeah, that's right, thanks for reminding me. Now we do have some other pieces dropping. We actually have some pieces with original artwork from Mario Ayala, 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 Ayala. I'm gonna butcher this guy's name no matter what, so I'm just gonna basically over-exaggerate his name and uh, pretend like I'm doing it on purpose. We have two baseball jersey or Raglan baseball tops dropping. I'm not a fan of the pieces they chose to use his graphics on, but I love his artwork. As you can see, it's very airbrushed. You have this hourglass graphic, which looks super fucking dope. And then my personal favorite by far is this dog that is behind bars, this Homeward Bound-esque or Sandlot looking uh, mutt. Not to mention his tongue game is vicious. So hide your girl because I promise if she sees this dog's tongue, uh, I really don't want to make a bestiality joke today. So I'm not going to keep going with that, but just know all the other female dogs are definitely impressed with this dog's tongue game. You can see my man's got a foot long tongue. We also have two premium tees dropping. We have this like star short sleeve tee. I'm not a fan of this. This looks like something that like a cheap stripper would wear and I'm not really against stripping at all. I think stripping is an amazing ability. The fact that they can literally hold themselves up using just their legs and be like all the way back with their legs around a pole is insane to me. I feel like they could literally pop my head off with their ridiculously strong thigh muscles. So strippers are not ones that you really want to piss off or be on their bad side. But this isn't like a stripper that I would see from like Magic City wearing. I guess the best Best explanation I can give is when I was in the military, I happened to be in Texas uh, for upgrade training. We went to a strip club and this strip club was in the hood. I walked in and I remember seeing this stripper that was definitely too pregnant to be stripping. Stripping. And that, that might actually be her. Hey baby, what's, 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 hey baby, what's good? That being said, uh, it's a shirt that I could picture like strippers from that strip club wearing. And I mean, she was like real pregnant. Like the baby was basically formed at this point. I'm talking, she was like probably nine months, like ready to give birth that day. I would not be surprised if giving birth was a part of her stripping routine. The sun inside of her stomach was so fully grown, he probably already had a bigger dick than me. I do, however, like this top of the world short sleeve. And maybe it's just because it comes in a creme de la creme bukkake colorway. And you guys know that's my favorite color. That natural color looks oh so beautiful, especially with the Kathmandu little uh, embroidery in red. Look at, oh my God, red on cream. Gorgeous. For those of you guys that do not know what Kathmandu is, I'm probably butchering the name. I do not know how to properly say it, but it's the capital of Nepal. It is known as the top of the world because Nepal is where Mount Everest is located. I'm probably gonna get some geographically inclined commenter that is going to correct me and be like, no, it's actually located in China. I think it's between Nepal and China. As for the other colors, I don't really care about this piece. And on top of that, the baseball jerseys and both these premium tees will probably not see much resale. I don't know the price of the baseball jerseys, but the premium tees will be right around 68 to 78 dollars and these items normally do not resell that much. That being said, that natural colorway, if you do like this piece, is the best color to get. That creme de la creme bukkake colorway is absolutely mandatory in literally everything. Uh, now we have this Cordura lined jacket. Uh, I'm not a fan of this. I don't like the spell out on the back. It is tonal, which I mean, 
I, don't, I just don't like the shininess of the jacket. The neck does not match the rest of the jacket. They went with like a black fur, so it's basically gonna look like the pubic hair of the man that your mother is cheating on your father with. Uh, that being said, I'm just not a fan of the rest of this jacket at all. Uh, I think the button looks overly complex. I don't know why they put like a D-ring. I don't know, it just seems a little unnecessary and I'm just not really a fan of anything that has to do with this jacket. And the last top has a really hideous short combo. Uh, it is the overdyed hoodie and overdyed shorts. I think this pattern is supposed to be camouflage, but it doesn't really look like camouflage. It looks more like moldy bread. I really think these are trash and I also think it's kind of weird they have a dark camouflage, but then they don't have a matching dark camo short. It's a little strange. I really don't like when Supreme does that and I wish they would have dropped some dark camo shorts, but really I wish they would have just not dropped any of this bullshit and never released this hoodie at all. This is an overdyed hoodie, so it will not be made in Canada like the traditional hoodies. These will probably be produced in China or Portugal, but I digress anyways. I'm going to be passing on all this garbage, but since we talked about shorts briefly, we might as well talk about the rest of the bottoms that are dropping this week. You have these cotton pants. They really wanted you to know that these were made of cotton because they put cotton in the name and then under the description they just put all cotton. They're also dropping these double knees pants. Basically these are very similar or inspired by like carpenter pants. Workwear such as Carhartt. Uh, in fact, I have some Carhartt double knees right here. You have um, these ones, which these ones are a little bit different because this double knee is actually a part of the pocket. It's actually more like this, which has its own separate pattern that is just sewn over the original pant. These pants are really good for people who spend a lot of time on their knees because you have double the protection. So people who work in construction, porn stars, etc. As you can see, when you get a knee blowout, you can still be protected and your kneecap will not get cold because you have two layers of protection for your knee. Essentially, these are kind of like Trojan Magnum condoms for your knees. Really essential and always nice to have. I do like these double knee carpenter pants. I'm really glad to see Supreme do these. However, I am not a fan of the contrast stitching. Why can you not just make the stitching match the color of the pant? But I am excited about these and I hope to see more double knee carpenter pants from Supreme in the near future. So let's finish it off. Talk about these accessories. They do have the Hanes tank tops dropping, which are not accessories. So I don't know why I prefaced it with accessories, but you have the Hanes uh, tank tops dropping. Nothing really to see here, nothing to talk about. But when it comes to the accessories, we have these Heller mugs. Uh, I try to get the price on these. I believe it's uh, like, around $10 a mug, so I would expect these to be between $40 and $60 if it's a four pack, maybe like $30 if it's a two pack. I don't know if they're going to do two separate colorways with like the red color and the clear color, or if they're going to do a four pack with the clear and red color in one pack. Then you have the waterproof lighter holder keychain, which I really don't know why this is waterproof. I guess if you don't wanna leave your lighter outside of the pool maybe, I can't really think of a time where you need your lighter in the pool, like maybe you wanna swim out the middle of the ocean and like light up a blunt or something. I have no idea. Okay guys, so uh, real quick, I edited this video and when I obviously shot the video, I was not aware of the box logo. So I'm gonna go over what I plan on copying this Thursday. On Thursday, I plan on getting the MLB jacket, hopefully two of them, a hat, both the tees from the My Bloody Valentine. I'm actually thinking I am going to get the hoodie as well, one of the rayons and potentially a double knee carpenter pant. I haven't decided whether I'm gonna get red or black. And then of course, Friday, the only thing everyone's going for, the box logo. That being said, if you wanna see a live cop this Thursday, smash the like button down below. Go follow my Instagram, the Starlife, T-H-E-S-T-A-R-L-I-F-E. And of course, join the Discord group. Like I said, that'll be the top link in the description. I literally only shouted it out on my story and I already have over 500 members in the Discord. So definitely join while you can and while it is free to enter. I'm hoping I can hit a thousand today, but thank you guys so much for the support. If this does well and I do a live cop on Thursday and then Thursday's video does well, then I will do a live cop for the box as well. Like I said, if you want to see the live cops, smash the like button. I hate creating those, but fuck it. Thank you guys so much for the support. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. And as always, keep living the star life. Subscribe and turn on post notifications if you have not already. Show some love in the comments. Smash the like button. I think I already said that, but anyways, peace the out. Same Bitch, holler when you feel this. Fresh up out the county, tell them hoes to get up on me. I was in that motherfucker with some killers.